Today's lesson is going to be centered on making text for your images or just to make a text that you can use. First thing you want to do is get you a new image, any size that you want, and pick a background color. Okay, so you want to get the text tool, choose your A. And then you want to left click in the image and this little box will come up. Okay, there's a couple of things you want to notice about the text entry box. At the top you have your name with the little arrow right there. It gives you another window and you can actually see all of the fonts that you have in your computer. This is the size of your text that you're going to put on the paper. Turning what that does is it kind of separates your letters. Um, I'll show you kind of an example. Okay, if you put 300, see how it kind of separates those letters over here. So if you want your letters kind of spread out a little bit, you can use that turning tool there. Um, in here, of course, it's just like your typical text, you have bold, italics, and centered, left, right. Over here, uh, on your styles, you have stroke and fill. Stroke kind of just gives you an outline, doesn't put any color in it. That's something that I rarely use. Fill, what that does is it actually puts the color in the whole text. Okay, down here you have your textures. You can pick textures for your text. And when you click on the texture and open it up, it'll show you the textures that are in your computer. You can pick one to kind of play with. Probably need a different color from the black to see how that's going to work. See how it kind of gives it the um, asphalt look in there. This one is not working because we don't have a color up top. In order to use the textures, you need to make sure that you have a color in each of these boxes relating to the boxes underneath. Under here, you have create as, you have vector, you have a selection, you have floating, Pretty much on text, you always want to use a floating text. Also, make sure that you always have this anti-checked. If you don't, it kind of gives your text a real jagged look. doesn't look near as good. Hit OK. Now, once you get your image in there, to make that text stand out, you always want to use a drop shadow, which you will find under your effects. Got a 3D and drop shadow. <clears throat> you can change this any way you want to. You can just kind of play around with it till you see what you like. And if you don't like something, you can always undo it. Go back, try again. Now, to get those marching ants to go away, so you can kind of really see what that looks like, get your layer palette. Kind of always want to leave that open because you're going to always use your layer palette. Right click on floating, promote to layer. And there you can see your kind of what it would, your finished product would look like. To me, that doesn't stand out enough. Um, it's too, too faint. Can't see it that good. So I want to kind of change that a little bit. Just undo. Undo again. And undo again. I want to go back and I want to redo it all over again. So I really don't like this uh, fill in texture. Let's see what else we've got. Let's try. 
Thanks. Já tava fora. Não. Não frio. And I really don't want to use the hurry on this. I'm trying to keep it close together. Okay. So now we're going to move it over. We're going to have our drop shadow. And from it. And there you go. Your text is done. There are endless, countless possibilities in your text. Text on an image is the make it or break it. So kind of play around with your text tool and enjoy.